Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe and today we are going to work on this painting. This was a balloon smash slash tilt that I had done I think last week or the week before. Uh, I wasn't too, I was happy with it until it dried and then you really can't see the red, the yellow and the orange in it. You can still see the pink color, maybe like a magenta, I don't remember the exact color. And you, and you can still see that aqua green and obviously all the copper, but you can't see the other color. So I wanted to see if I could do a string pull through it even though it's dry. Um, I have some ideas for some other pieces that use this technique, but I don't know if it actually works or not. So I wanted to test it and I thought this would be a good piece to test it on. So that's what we will be doing here today. Um, not really going for anything specific in this video or on this painting. I just wanted to see if this will actually work and what it looks like whenever you do it. So that is the plan for today. So I've dipped uh, one string in orange and one in yellow. I may do one more of each of these colors. But just like in a regular string pull, just lay it down and then pull it through. Definitely looks like it works. It's just a matter of you're not going to get all the cells and other developments here. You're just going to get the color it looks like. Just kind of laying on top there. So that's a good thing to know. Um, I want to try something else really quickly while we're here. How much? Okay, I have to make sure you're still in frame here. Um, I'm going to pour some puddles here. See what it looks like if I like kind of mix the colors. Put that right there for now. Kind of like how you do the string pull when you're doing the um, feather technique. So you kind of like lay it down. I will do this apparently right here. <laughs> Let that sit for a second. Let me see. Where'd my other string go? Here it is. And how I'm cleaning this off, if you want to know, is I just have this uh, empty cup here. It used to have paint in it for some pour or the other. Just pinch it and then just pull it through. That's how I did that one at least. And that's how I did this one you just saw me. Um, hopefully that was somewhat in frame. I didn't actually look. Okay. Cover that. For this one, I will go actually over this and see how that looks as well. Like I said, just experimenting before I do it on, oh, that's actually really cool. I think if I would have done it kind of bigger, that would look pretty awesome. Let me do it through this one, yeah. So single color, not as cool as like a double color here. I think I want to do this again just to see if I can, what the full effect would look like. And even this cup where I'm doing this here, I'll make sure I'm in frame this time. I may have been in frame last time, I just don't know for sure. That's all I'm doing. Um, I don't know how much more paint I have. I didn't pour a lot out because I didn't want to waste a ton out of the bottles and into the cup. I'm 
actually going to go sideways on this one just so I can kind of do a bigger area without it being through another piece. Let it set for just a second. Definitely the way this looks. And if this one looks as cool as this one, I'll be really happy. And then I'll have some new tricks for some other ways to embellish paintings. Yeah. I think that would definitely have some potential. Let me bring you in so you can see it. So here's the yellow one. It's just yellow. Not a lot of crazy cool things happen in there. Here's the orange where I laid the double color one over it. So a little bit of yellow through it, but because it was mainly orange. I guess I could do the same thing again with the yellow real quick just to give it some interest. I'm actually just going to use whatever string this was. Actually, I think... This one has a little bit more paint on it, so I'll use this. I, I haven't dipped it again since wherever it was last time. There we go. A little bit more interest to that yellow. So here we go. Some orange through the yellow. Some yellow through the orange. And then here was the first one I did with the two colors on one string. And then here's the last one I did with the two colors on the one string. So I'm not really sure it complimented this painting necessarily <laughs> too terribly much. Um, but definitely learned something here and can use it in future videos. Um, this will just be like a little like sample testing type thing. Uh, painting. So if I have other things I want to try then that's what this piece will be used for. So, let me know what you think about this technique using the string pull over a dry painting. You can leave those in the comments below. I do want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And do what makes you happy.